carry permits issued in El Paso County skyrocketed this year. The reason, according to the sheriff's office, two mass shootings in Colorado Springs in 2015. KRDO News Channel 13 Stephanie Sierra is live inside Specialty Sports in Colorado Springs. And Stephanie, gun dealers and owners agree those mass tragedies did play a big role. Bart, the events on Halloween and Black Friday may be prompting some to arm themselves, but it's not the only reason. This is left-handed. I need a right-handed. Dwight Hill has them all. This is the one that I own myself. Hill started his collection in the 70s, and he's racked up so many, he can't keep track. I don't know. <laughs> really, it's that many. <laughs> but his trophies, as he calls them, aren't all for show. It's that assurance that you have that tool to use and the ability. He believes the tragedies on Halloween and Black Friday are influencing gun buyers. And permits issued through the El Paso County Sheriff's Office back that up, nearly doubling in 2016. What's interesting about this data is the three months with the biggest spike in new gun permit sales is from January to March, just a few months after these tragic shootings. And local gun shop owners say these increases aren't just a coincidence. When you have something happens in the city, it's a huge ripple here. And people are very concerned because they go, oh my God, I shop over by that. Or I was, my daughter goes by there every day. Lepp says he saw this trend start even earlier. And a lot of people are very upset about these police shootings. They feel that if people are willing to shoot police, then what else are they willing to do? And not everyone in the market for a gun is doing it for protection. I'm not worried about safety in the streets, so I don't carry a gun and I don't think you need to have a gun. Lepp says the culture is changing. He only hopes new gun owners get the training necessary to prevent future tragedies. We're human and we can make mistakes, but the chances of making a mistake are far less, you know, if you've had the proper training for it. Since the Planned Parenthood and Halloween shootings, Lepp says a significant amount of women and elderly have been purchasing guns. Live in Colorado Springs, Stephanie Sierra, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Stephanie, thanks.